and thereof. A step slow away was timely artist, also not that fast to break, Brigante's warrior from a comparatively wide draw, taken back Monty B. Quick in the early stages. It's Moon Flight who will bag the early lead with the favourite measured time right up there towards the inside. Also going forward is Lahab and out wide Marching Band. They're not going a great pace in the early stages. Indeed, they are simply meandering down the back straight and it is Moon Flight who has got the lead and he's very keen. So too his Lahab and just jinking there as a pigeon flew in front of him was Moon Flight but he still has the lead to Lahab who races in second position. Measured time to the inside rail is in third. Marching band in fourth. Then on the inside is Godwinson racing in fifth position. Botanical is in sixth. Ocean Heights around the outside now moves up and takes seventh. Sapachi is in eighth. Break of two lengths back to Brigante's Warrior, who is next. Then Timely Artist, and still held up at the back of the field, is Monty B. Quick. He's around about eight lengths off the leader, who continues to be Moon Flight, with just over three furlongs to go. Moonflight and Luke Morris out in front to Holly Doyle and Lahab towards the outside racing in second. The favourite measured time, William Buick towards the inside now being pushed along to try and deliver a challenge. Meanwhile, Botanical makes a move out wide in the hands of David Egan and just in behind them is Godwinson and Tom Marcond. Four in line now with a furlong and a half to go and here's now the dash to the line. It's Botanical on the outside. Measured time towards the inner. Measured time just has the lead. Measured time now quickens up. Goes a length and a half clear of Botanical in second and it's now two out of two at Kempton for measured time. Botanical was second, Lahab in third and then to the inside in fourth, Moon Flight. Measured time, an impressive winner of our first race uh, for William Buick. Uh, that looked really lovely. Yeah it was and he's a, he, he's a very nice horse. Obviously his half-brother being Rebel's role man so you know he's he's got plenty to live up to but he couldn't have done any better there and Obviously, he won here in the last winter, so um, nice to see him back. Yeah. What back, was the back. What was the issue? Why was he off so long? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. Um, he's obviously a big horse, so I presume he might have been growing. But yeah. um, you know, he's done that lovely there today, in, in every in every sense of the word. So I think everyone's very happy with that. Yeah, really good. Two still to come, and um, chances. But firstly, how's the track? Did you feel it on the slow side? Yeah, they, they've redone it. They told me, and. Um, you know, obviously we went pretty slow there, so um, but look, there wasn't the kickback was okay, so the track seemed to ride fair. Okay, well you're on the right spot. Thank well you done. Very much. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks, William. Martin has taken from the start, broke very nicely. Broke smartly, very alert. William just glides into a nice position behind the leaders. What a lovely horse! I mean, he looks impressive. He was impressive on his debut win, and he just glides in behind the the front runners here, and um, it's notable how slow the jockeys are going. Now, obviously, this track is riding slow tonight, as Barney explained earlier. It needs time to bed in, and Luke Morris is in front. He doesn't want to be there on Moon Flight. He's he's a bit green. His his first run, and in a minute you see him duck away there. I think he spotted the car come up on his right hand side, and he ducked away. Luckily, didn't cause much harm. Lahab with Holly Doyle was travelling on his outside, but they're just slowing up and slowing up. William has just parked up behind the pace on the favourite and he's just waiting for that intersection to uh, to come and he knows he's going to get a, a clear run at them but uh, what a lovely horse I think the first two home are pretty special yeah I would agree with that and given that we've been told this new track the new refurbishment means that it's going to ride that little bit slower do you think the botanical has run an even better race coming from the position that he has done I think it's going to be hard to front run and equally it's going to be hard to make any type of ground up in any race tonight so botanicals ran a, a, a massive race uh, I think he was second best on the day. William's got the best run round. He's got that clear split up the inside. But just watch this horse now. William asked him to pick up. Look at his stride. The amount of ground he's covering. And William's just hands and heels here. He's still got horses on his left hand side. He doesn't have to resort to give him a tap with his, with his whip. Look, he's just a very athletic, big striding horse with a lovely attitude. Look at his head. I think he could be pretty special. I think there's botanicals a decent horse in second. Yeah, I think uh, the kind of horse that Angus McNay will be salivating over ahead of uh, the next edition of The Verdict because that was a, a really taking performance and I'm sure the sectional is going to be pretty good as well in the closing stages. Uh, Martin, we, we discussed uh, off air as the race is being run what kind of a, a handicap mark you give the winner. At this point, it would have to be in the 90s, wouldn't it? You would, think, you would have thought so. It's not my expertise handicapping, but I would have thought, well, would it be 95 and the runner-up be 92 maybe? It's hard to go 100 with a horse that's won two novices, but he does look pretty special. 
He does, and he's a gorgeous, uh, attractive-looking beast as well. Be interesting to see where he goes next. Yeah, it'd be fascinating. Hopefully, we can get to some idea from Connections after the race. But um, whatever it is that Connections decide to do, Martin, I think uh, it's going to have to be a step of grade of, of, of significance. I can't see him running a handicap, can you? I can no. see him going straight into a stakes race. He's, he's, he looks like a really smart individual, but great attitude too. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.